Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 10. Uh, this is a small 10-inch uh, Windows 8 system with an Intel Celeron uh, Bay Trail processor, so dual-core chip based on the latest, uh, I think it's Silvermont cores. Um, so what we have to do first to gain access to the internals of the machine is we have a selection of screws on the base, um, we also have two hidden screws which are under these two front rubber feet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a guitar pick and slide that in underneath the feet to remove those. These are held on just with adhesive so if we get the guitar pick underneath and we can see in fact these aren't adhesive, these are actually clip-in but that lifts up like that and again the other side, get the pick in and this one has a little warranty sticker underneath it as well so we are just going to need to lift that sticker as well Obviously don't do this if you're uh, concerned about your user warranty but that gives us access to the screw under there and now we're going to just remove the screws from the system and what I do when I take them out is uh, as I'm just doing the short term I just position them behind the laptop in the order that I've taken them out alternatively you can mark things up on a piece of paper if uh, you want to keep track of what came from where. I believe in this these screws are all actually the same size so it's not too important just gather them up and make sure you don't lose them. Um, so you quite often see when someone's had a laptop apart they're missing a couple screws underneath or something like that so it's always a good idea just to make sure you know what is what. and it's fairly simple to do this as you can see we're most of the way through now and one last screw to remove And now it should simply be a case of separating the base off of the chassis. So again if we take our guitar pick and so what we want to do is find a point we can slide this in. Around the front of the laptop possibly. So yep, yeah, there we've got the pick in and then we can slide that along to release the clips inside. Having gone round and removed the back panel of the laptop we can now see there isn't a great deal of things that you can replace inside the laptop. Um, processor and memory are obviously soldered down on this system. Uh, but what we can access is the standard 2.5 inch hard drive. Um, we have the power board here and we can also replace the internal battery pack and wireless mini PCI Express card. Um, so the hard drive is removed by these three screws here holding down the... Is it three or four screws here, sorry? Uh, holding down the cradle it's on. Um, with that removed we can also release the keyboard so that we can remove that. Uh, if there's any issues with the AC adapter, this board here can be removed with this screw and disconnecting this ribbon cable. Um, and that's also good if there's any damage to the AC connector, you only have to replace this small board here, not the entire main board or mess about soldering parts. So a fairly easy system to get into, just be careful while releasing the little plastic clips, those are quite fiddly on this. 
um, and there is the potential to cause some damage to those as you're going round. Um, I'll admit I did break one while removing the back panel of this but it will go back together okay with the one damage but you want to exercise a little bit of caution there. Um, anyway, I hope you found this useful and uh, check out our channel for other videos looking inside various laptops.